Hello everyone, thanks for joining me for another video. Today I just wanted to share with you guys a mommy post really quick. Um, I want to show you guys um, how I'm saving all of my children's uh, uh, papers that they're bringing home. I haven't figured out why I'm saving these papers. I don't know. I feel bad. They work so hard on them and then try to throw them away. It's just like, so we keep all of the really good stuff and the great job stuff. Stuff to get stickers on and, you know, so on. I don't know if you guys can see me. It's pretty dark in here. Hold on. Let me lighten this up a little bit. But then I don't want to lighten this up too much. Just one moment. I'm adjusting the light here. Well, my blinds actually. I'm by a window. Which I've found that I've like the, I like the lighting more here, so I'm more comfortable here. So anyway, like I was saying, this is my children's. Uh, I got this idea from my kids' school. Um, I have a first grader and a third grader, and um, this is my first grader's book. Okay, um, they have their introduction page or whatever, and then um, this is their reading log. Um, notes and money, like for field trips and stuff, go inside of this little doodad. This right here tells us how they date their day was. My first grader is actually um, a diabetic, so she writes little notes for me um, there. Um, <clears throat> and then this is their weekly, you know, their newsletter, and then the words that everyone needs to know. So, um, what I was really drawn to was the folder idea, okay? Um, here it has like notes to parents. Can you guys see that? Notes to parents. And then this right here is going to be, um, next month's, well, November's, uh, lunch menu. Like I said, he is diabetic, so I have to have this to see, you know, what foods he will be eating so I can provide the proper uh, amount of medication. And then, um, notes to teachers. So every time I wanted to tell the teacher something, I can just slip a note in here and then homework, all of his homework comes in this paper here. And um, finish work. All of the work and the artwork that they're bringing home to me goes inside this folder. So I've taken this concept and I've applied it to uh, my at home, um, you know, doing all of their um, keeping all of their books and stuff right now I have one of the little binders and this is just a one inch binder and um, by Avery you know the I think they're like 247 this one is 247 but if you get white it's like 148 at Walmart okay but I got black and I also have a blue one and why I did that is because um, I have two different children a first grader and a third grader and then eventually I'm gonna add our little uh, little girl one as well um, so the first thing his name is Justin in first grade I put that with my labeler love it and his creative arts so I was keeping everything in this and then just putting it into a file box that was so getting hectic they can't help me with that but with this system they're able to come in from school and my oldest son is really good about this let's go to his and then I have a um, let me go back and show you guys the folders that I have I have um, creative arts for my first grader because he still brings some art papers um, writing he does a lot of journal writing and math they actually do their math there and spelling all of his spelling tests that he does this is for report report cards and progress reports it's just one and it's the same thing here and this will be my oldest son now this is my oldest son he does um, social studies and science so that's what's in his first folder here and we keep all of the 95s and 100s and um, and we keep some B's too okay and we keep all of the hundreds definitely the hundreds and then his next folder is spelling so he made a hundred on this one um, you know a 75 but he worked really really it's a test so we kept it and then a hundred on his you know money a hundred a hundred well actually this money was actually stagecoach they were teaching them um, this should be in math because it's teaching place value and stuff like that but you know he comes in and he puts this 
um, together. He has fun doing that. All of his hundreds. And here we go, math. And like I said, this was place value. So he will put that in his math. And then um, this is also math. It's like, um, uh, uh, what are they called? Problem solving and different stuff like that. So this is all of his math. And then let's see um his last one is writing because he does um some creative writing and different stuff like that at school so that is my mommy post for you guys today and then i'm just going to show you real quick this is justin's um my first graders um math and then like i said he still does he still does um art and stuff so i'm just going to put that inside of his little coloring pages he gets super and you know first graders still have the uh, fun stuff that they do and then look at this this is what they just did for um, Halloween it was a math sheet but it was coloring so I was thinking I might stick it in here but then I might just put it in math because it's not, you know, fitting there. And then sometimes if it doesn't fit, what I'm thinking is I might just put some holes in it myself. Or I could still, you know, place it here in this pocket for all of my bigger things. This will be just inside and then um, this would be my third grader Jonathan side. But eventually what I want to do is I want to spill over into, um, if it spills over, I'm going to give each boy their own folder. But right now I'm maintaining one folder for the school year. So anyway, and I'm going to, you know, put something nice here, a little picture or whatnot, um, for 2012 to 2013 school year. I really hope you guys enjoy this idea. And I will be back with a, another scrapbooking um, video very soon. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.